Okay, so not for nothing, a lot of you guys may know that I absolutely love the moral arc in the Dragon Ball Super manga. However, this specific battle right here was something that just really left a sour taste in my mouth because here you had Vegeta, he came back from Planet Yardrad and he really whooped on Moro to the point where he was like reversing his age, he was taking the power that he had stolen away from him and whatnot. So it was a grounded and very good kind of paced battle until the very end where Moro kind of outpaced and outsmarted Vegeta. He ate 7-3, he became Moro 7-3, but even then, the ending of this arc by seeing the giant key hologram that Goku had created, right? The giant Susano, that should have been Vegeta. You can't sit there and tell me that Vegeta shouldn't have been the one to kind of adapt Pybrara's teachings in creating this giant key hologram only to hold Moro in place, you know what I mean? For Goku to kind of go a long way to break the crystal on his forehead. I think that that would have been much better, I think, than just seeing Goku do it because when Goku did it, it was already expected because it was almost as though he kind of knew that he needed to break the crystal. So for Vegeta to only punch the ground and then to gather enough energy to give that to Goku, it's kind of almost as though we've seen that be done before, minus Vegeta having to punch the ground in removing energy from Moro, but either way, there was something more about that encounter that I really wanted to see come from that fight, and there's just no excuse as to why none of that should have happened, you know what I mean? Like, Vegeta should have been able to either provide more or do more because he spent X amount of time on Planet Yardrad, learning from Pybrara, being able to sense Moro from such a far place, and it was such bullshit to see just the way he was handled because here we have Moro regressing in age, we see Moro regressing in power, and Vegeta all of a sudden is asking Jocko, hey, should we kill him? Like, should I end his life? Like, yeah, there's no question you need to end his life. I mean, it's like Moro shouldn't even exist to begin with, right? So there's no question to me that when the anime comes back, I want to see these two actually have like a just epic brawl because the way Moro fought Vegeta and the way you saw how Moro was kind of reacting to Vegeta's power was just extremely interesting because he knew that something was going on and he was trying to figure it out until all of a sudden you just see energy beginning to leave his mouth he's beginning to puke up energy and it was just a sight to see so let me go on ahead and finish off vegeta once and for all because i mean thus far i would argue to say that i would love to see the omen fight with moro and moro versus evolution vegeta be animated in such a way that that has to be without question the two most standout fights once of course this gets animated because if they kind of go into an approach where like the fights are lackluster and the fights are just trash then that's going to be a massive missed opportunity so either way not gonna lie that was really really good a very solid fight nonetheless